Okay, so have you heard about these? This one's a rocket book, um, rocket book fusion, which let me see. I forget everything that's in it, but this handy little card that tells me how to use it reminds me what all is in it. All in one reusable planner, calendar, and notebook. And I was really curious because I was like, wait a second, Jude, you can erase the pages and scan them. And how does this work? And immediately, the first thing I thought was benefit to the environment. It's very handy. I mean, look how nice and thin it is. And you can just reuse it, reduce clutter, save a lot of waste. Sounds pretty good to me. But would it really work? And how how are the pages? Like online, it says that they're uh, this is my little testing of the pen for the first time. Online, it says they're very paper-like, um, feels like real paper, which it does. But I would say it feels, it's really, um, I was going to say slimy, but that, that's not the right word. Uh, slippery, maybe, is the word I'm looking for. It's more, it's like real paper, but it it feels... I can't even think of the kind of paper that it doesn't feel like your typical notebook. But would it, is it more grittier? It just feels more like paper. This feels a lot smoother. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so inside you have the section like this where you can write. See if I can get this. My brain doesn't want to work. Okay. Well, that kind of pull it into focus. There we go which you can obviously put the you know the month the the day date of the week and everything else so that you can plan out your own calendar then it also has a page with a full on calendar which i have trouble flipping the pages i will say that's another con but then you can have your whole calendar which kind of a pain i have to admit lazy that i am to every month renumber everything and write whatever you want in but at the same time it does save paper and then i guess if you want to save it you can because you've scanned it which at first i was like but wait if you erase it every time then you don't have it anymore but because you're scanning it you do so that's how if you need to refer back to a past month you can which at first i was like i don't think i like that but now, now I'm catching on a little slow. So then on this page, you have, let's see, objectives, key results, action plan, whoops, sorry, reflections. So you can really write a lot if you're, if you're really an organized person or want to be or, you know, I, I am definitely a list taker and action plan maker. I don't always follow through on them, but I definitely make them. So this one, that's why this one appealed to me because it sort of had everything in it. I could have just gotten a notebook and created my own thing, but I kind of liked having the three, the three or four, I guess, five maybe different sections. Oh yeah. And then there's this section for ideas that you can write in. And then each section that has well, a lot of them have, well, this one says inspiration. Some of them have this little section at the bottom that say notes. And then you have just plain that has the grid dots on them. And then if you flip back, you, you get several of those. I mean, a lot. I, I forget how many it said on the thing, but you get quite a bit. Then you have this that has the lined pages also. So again, you get a lot of pages, very thin. You also get the handy dandy pen that comes with it. But online, I got this on Amazon. So if you happen to buy one using the link below, I am an Amazon associate and I could earn a credit. Um, but it did come with a pen, just a, a black one that pops off. But they had, somebody was writing with color pens and I was like, Ooh, there's a lot you can do with color pens. And I just, I like the concept of that. So I decided to give those a try. But the first part was figuring out, it said clickable. And if you, if you notice, so I thought, 
I kept trying to click it and it's not clicking. I'm like, okay, I, I'm smarter than a pen clearly, right? But apparently I wasn't because it took me several tries to figure out that the clicker is in <laughs> that part. So anyways, so I had to test out the pens and I might have got the wrong size pinpoint. I normally prefer the fine 0.7 millimeter um, size, but it doesn't write on certain papers. That's perfect. And, and again, I'm super weird about, or maybe not weird, but I notice the thickness and the texture of papers. And there are certain papers that those pens that this size pen writes really well on and anything more shiny, almost like card material, except thinner, much thinner. Um, if you've ever had that inside of a, of a card where your pen, it'll almost smudge really easily. That's more like what the notebook is. And I think a, a little bit of a bigger size ballpoint would have been better. I'll make do with these obviously because they weren't they weren't expensive, but they weren't cheap. I mean this one came with it, so that was nice. But um I definitely feel like writing with it, I really had to work at it a little bit harder than I prefer to. Still I'll make it work. But overall, I really see the benefits. The only thing I wanted to check really quick. I didn't tr test this before I started making the video with stickies. Well, stickies stick to it. I don't want to damage the papers and I didn't read anything about it, but they are very funny to flip through. So yeah, so they stick fine. And if I just put it to the top or to the side, they actually stick really well onto this. This is a good material for them to bond to better than the other paper in my older notebooks that I like. Um, the other thing is this will fit in, did I finish my thought there? Hold on a second. So sticky notes will work and it will help me get to the pages faster. I didn't, maybe they do sell clips. Maybe that was what, what the other thing I saw different products and maybe that's what those clips were to use to help you have tabs to get to the different pages because that is a little bit funky, annoying. I don't know. Annoying is the word I actually really want to use trying to flip. I don't want to waste time, you know, trying to, to get to the pages. So somehow I have to have tabs marking my pages. But overall, I see the benefits. I journal a lot when I travel, take notes or, you know, just my impressions or got to get something off my mind or I get an idea, something. I'm always constantly writing and I have tons of notebooks and scrap papers and all kinds of things all over the house. And it would be really convenient just to have it all in one place. And that's why else this appealed to me is because I use Evernote. You can send and scan these to yourself using a variety of different note taking services or you know, document like Dropbox, things like that. I use Evernote. And so I tested that and it's super easy. You hold your camera up, which took me a little bit. You don't have to press anything. It's almost like if you've ever gotten an Amazon gift card and you scan the code on the back, it will just automatically grab it. You don't have to hit. That's what this does when you're scanning the pages. You just lift the your camera, your phone up, grab it, and then it'll it'll say, got it. Where do you want to send it? And you set it up in the beginning. I want to send it to my email. I want to send it to Evernote. I want to send it to wherever. And I tested, you can send it. I only set up to the Gmail and the Evernote and you can send it to both at the same time or just one separately. So that'll help me get organized. I, I hope, I think, I don't know. Um, that's the plan. So we'll see how it works. But so far, I'm really very happy about this. And I see the benefits of how you could use this. Like if you are a paranormal investigator and you wanted to take notes or make observations or, you know, document what's happening and this would be really good. And then you can just use your camera. And the other part of that is it, you wouldn't, 
you wouldn't risk, like sometimes people take the notes on their phone, like, you know, use their phone as an audio recorder. And then if the battery drain happens this way, at least you might not be able to click, you know, save your scan, your, your notes with your phone, if something drained your battery, but when you were able to recharge it, you could, and then had that, you could also use it to experiment with, um, automatic writing, or if that is how you actually spirits do communicate with you, then you could use this and save those for posterity and and have them to share quicker to yourself or wherever you wanted to do it. So I think there's a lot of benefits and definitely the writer in me is like, oh my gosh, where has this been all my life? Because inevitably I have story ideas, which I do use Evernotes all the time to take notes and keep lists or whatever for myself. Um, But if I, I'm probably going to get more of these and keep them around the house. Well, at least a couple more, not too many trying to reduce waste and stuff, but it would help me because I do, I have, I, I ended up actually throwing away a ton and I do mean a ton. Well, didn't weigh a literal ton, but it might as well have but by how much waste and mass it was of all these just little notes I have from various notebooks. And I'm just trying to declutter and get my life cleaned up. And I think this will help. So I'm I'm very excited to, to use this more. This is early day still, still learning. But if you have a rocket book fusion or rocket book period, I got the fusion. If you have a rocket book of any kind, they have little flippy notebook kind of ones and really just some neat things. Let me know how you use your how you use yours and if you like it and just your general thoughts or if you have another brand of reusable notebooks and that's another thing I will say the pens it actually you can you can squirt It came with a little eraser. So it suggests wetting, you know, one end and keeping one end dry. So then you wipe it off and then use the other end to dry. But it also said use, you can use a little spray mist bottle, which I did. I I did that, but I made the mistake of squirting the page, which I, that might damage the page. So the next time when I did it, I squirted one part of this and use it. So that, that helps, you know, clean your pages up and it works really well. It's not, these pages are not the same as a whiteboard, um, but they are definitely unique and they're, they're like a whiteboard, but they're not a whiteboard. But the thing I like about the pens, whoops, this is the right end. They have erasers on the top. This is not the clicker. And this one actually pulls apart the one that came with it, but all of them, even these ones that I got, all have erasers. So, you know, well, I make tons of mistakes when I'm writing and I have to scratch out. So anytime I send somebody a card, because I really have bad handwriting. Um, anyways, and then my thoughts are like my speaking, which if you've ever watched my video, I'm here and there and everywhere. I have trouble following a straight line to get to one point, like I just did. But the erasers, I, no more, no more scratch out. I can erase the pen on the page. I don't think it works on paper. Let me check that though. Let's test it. Test. So I wrote test. Let's see. No, it doesn't erase on regular paper, but it does on the fusion paper. So that's really good. Now we know things, more things to learn. I have a feeling there will be some more things to learn with the scanning situation too, because I just did a very basic test scan, check it. Oh, it works. Okay. So we'll see how, how I organize all of that. But for now, that's the fusion notebook or that's the rocket book fusion notebook. Anyways, thank you so much for, for tuning in and until our paths cross again, ciao for now.